Welcome to Trump Breaking News Network. Your daily source for up-to-date news on the political scene of Donald Trump, his presidency, American politics and conspiracies. Please subscribe to receive notice of our daily updates, also share with your friends and your social media. We encourage you to like our videos and give your comments. This is TBNN. Trump gives the green light, sends bombers to Pacific in massive military move. The situation in North Korea has the world on high alert, and now the U.S. military is ramping up its diligence in the region. As Hawaii was recovering from a false nuclear attack scare and Japan was dealing with similar jitters, President Trump ordered half a dozen bombers and hundreds of Air Force personnel to the Pacific, supplementing stealth bombers that have already been moved to the area. Six U.S. Air Force B-52H Strata Fortress bombers and approximately 300 airmen from Barksdale Air Force Base Louisiana, are deploying to Anderson AFB, Guam, in support of U.S. Pacific Command's continuous bomber presence mission, the Air Force announced on Tuesday. The small island of Guam is proving to be quite the center of activity for the Air Force in recent weeks. The base in Guam is already home to B-1B Lancers supersonic bombers carrying the largest conventional munitions payload of any Air Force bomber, explained the Daily Caller. These powerful aircraft flew across the Korean peninsula regularly last year, often angering North Korea, which believes the B-1B is a nuclear-capable bomber, continued that report. The official line is that the Lancers are no longer able to carry nukes. If that's changed, the U.S. is certainly keeping the capability close to the vest. The United States has physically disabled these aircraft from delivering nuclear weapons under its bilateral arms control commitments with Russia, reported the diplomat. Kim Jong-un's regime has pledged to shoot down the aircraft anyway. An aircraft that nobody disputes is equipped with nuclear weapons is the more advanced B-2 Spirit, a Cold War-era bomber that is designed to slip into enemy territory and deliver a deadly payload. The U.S. sent three B-2 Spirits, nuclear-capable stealth bombers, and 200 airmen to Guam earlier in January to provide support for the U.S. Pacific Command's Bomber Assurance and Deterrence Mission, explained the caller. Navy assets haven't been forgotten. The Asian Pacific region has become a hotbed of naval activity, with several formidable warships now in the vicinity. The B-2 bomber deployment was preceded by the deployment of the nuclear-powered Nimitz-class supercarrier USS Carl Vinson to the Western Pacific, reported the Daily Caller. South Korea expects the carrier to move into position in waters off the Korean peninsula around the start of the Olympics in early February. The upgraded amphibious assault ship USS Wasp recently arrived in Japan, and the USS Ronald Reagan, another Nimitz-class nuclear-powered supercarrier, is already in the region, the report concluded. Theodore Roosevelt famously advised, speak softly and carry a big stick. President Trump may not exactly be the world's softest speaker, but he does definitely seem to have the big stick part down. Hopefully, the desperate in Pyongyang is starting to get the message. Please press share on Facebook if you support the U.S. military. Should the U.S. continue to pressure North Korea? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.